Welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He is good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. It's an unconditional love. That love he pours into our heart by his spirit. God is spirit and we are his recipients. We get his love poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And he quickens us with this love. God is love. And that love is poured into our hearts. That's why we go to the secret place of the Most High. That's why we go sit in the secret place. And in that place that you have, that you have for him. Where it's just you and him. Now you could be in a crowded room and sit down and zone in on the fact that God is with you and take a moment to just breathe. Breathe. And sing that song that, that I heard a long time ago, Abba, I belong to you. And the Lord will fill your heart. He'll write his word. He'll bring his word back to your remembrance. That's why we read the word of God. That's why we get in in our face and we get the knowledge of him and the knowledge of his will. We let him bring up that word to our remembrance. That's why we come. I say it again. That is why we come to this word and we eat and drink the word of God daily. It's like your vitamins. You can't you, you have to get your vitamin vitamins from supplements, right? Because well, vitamins are supplements, but our food is depleted of the nourishment we need. And these supplements help us to help our, our body to get balanced, to help our body to get right, help us to be able to keep walking and talking to exist on this planet a little bit longer, you know, at, at our optimal performance. Well, the word goes and changes things. It, it gets in our heart and it gets in our, on our mind. And it gets between our ears and it gets into our eyes. And we begin to think differently because as a man thinks, as a person thinks, so is he or she. That's how you'll operate any way, whichever way you're thinking, whichever way you're feeling, you'll begin to operate that way. That's why I give myself away to him who loves me. That's why you should give yourself away to him who loves you. The Lord loves you with an agape love, an unconditional love. And that love, oh, he changes everything. It, it changes everything. Fear can't remain in you. Sin can't remain in you. <laughs> Depression can't stay there. Cancer is disrupted by it. There's no weapon formed against you that can prosper because you belong to God. Diabetes can't stay there. God didn't give you sickness. He didn't give you illness. He didn't give you any kind of disease. It's not yours. It doesn't belong to you. You said yes to God and therefore you belong to him. We receive things from the devil. We take them in a dream and we take them by way of TV because we keep listening to the same thing over and over and over again. And whatever word you hear goes into the cells of your, of your body, of your mind. And it's working, a work in the background. You know it. If you pay attention to yourself, you know that you hear words and those words keep on speaking. Even when the TV's off, even when the cell phone's off. Whatever you've been meditating on, whatever you allowed to pass before your eyes, even if it was accidentally came before your face, nothing by way, nothing is actually an accident. <laughs> but however that word got into your face, into your ears, that word is working in you and we need to know our God so that we can shut down the works of the evil one. No weapon formed against you will prosper. And those the weapons we're talking about are, are words. Words that steal, kill, and destroy. 
Jesus came and he gave us life and life more abundantly. And it's all in the knowledge of God. It's in the knowledge of who he is. We've got to learn how to change our mind and get our mind on things above. <laughs> Looking for good things and asking the Holy Spirit, Lord, lead me in a plain path. You know the enemy today. You know the enemy today, my Lord. Help me, Holy Spirit, to walk in on the path that you have laid out for me today. You know, I remember Jesus again being led into the wilderness. He was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Well, the Lord knows what's in our pathway today. And the Holy Spirit's been given to us. He's our keeper. He's our helper, our paracletos. He's there, a friend like no other who is in you, to you, and through you. He's for you. We have to see, we have to have a desire for our salvation. A desire to walk by faith and, and, and not be walking by how we see things, how we feel about things. We're coming out of a mindset that we used to have when we did it all by ourselves. We did everything by our own imagination, by our own strength. But see, our mind is limited. Limited. And the things that, the good things that God has for you. It, what the Bible says, eyes not seen, nor ear heard, nor the mind known. All the good things that the Lord, our Father, has in mind for us. Jesus, he laid his arms open wide so that we could come into the Father. You know, the Father only has thoughts of peace and not of evil for us. He, he wants us to be what he called us to be. And in him... We have everything that we need. We are uncorruptible. If we would plant the incorruptible word in our heart, if we would come and sit down and know him, we'll understand how much corruption cannot live in your heart anymore and be written on your mind anymore. We would uproot all the works of the devil. You know, I'm always saying the same thing. No God. Come sit down and drink and eat from him we're not born from this world anymore we're not born by the news that comes across the tv telling everybody to be fearful and afraid look at what happened over here and look at what happened to this person look at what evil is doing in the world see we pinpoint people and get the persons on our mind we get the that that race on our mind we get all of these things in our thoughts Oh, the, the, the whole, the, what is it now? It's not new, but recession. I think that's what they call it, or whatever poverty is about to hit the whole world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The kingdom of God doesn't suffer poverty. The kingdom of God is rich. Rich in mercy, rich in God's goodness. The blessings of the Lord will overtake you if you hear by if you hear by the Holy Spirit and do what He says. Whatever the Lord tells you to do, you, that's what you do. You will prosper. Those who are planted by what does it say? Let's go to Psalm one real quick. Psalm one. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate night and day. He meditates night and day. For he, or she, right, shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in her season, whose leaf whose leaf also shall not wither. And whatever she does, or he, will prosper. See, God is with you. He knows the way of the righteous. He knows your way. But it's all in him. 
we are fruitful and we multiply. I'm trying to think of some other ones right now. The Lord makes his grace abound towards you. The Lord... It, <laughs> He's not going to let you lack anything. Jesus in John chapter 14 it is. He keeps on telling us to ask. Ask and whatever you ask in my name it will be given to you. But here we go again. Know him. Trust him. Rest in him. Believe him. God chose you before the foundation of the world to be his. And he's going to work everything together for your good. Not because our minds are stayed on whatever we want, but our minds are stayed on who he is. We're in love with him. Oh, how I beg us to keep ourselves in love with God. Keep ourselves in love with Jesus. Get your eyes off of this world. Get your mind on things above. You read Philippians chapter 4, starting in verse 8 for that. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, how I pray. Stop feeling so <laughs> grief, <laughs> so grieved with your life and with the life around you and everything that you've heard and everything that you've seen. Stop being grieved about your age. <laughs> Don't lean on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge the Lord. He will direct your path. This is the promise of God that he will take care of you. He will take care of his children. It's not, you know, I thought of it this morning that, I've thought of it before, but I thought about it. There's, there's no purpose for me to be in this earth except to live for him and to show that this is him working in us. We, we could have said yes to the Lord and he could have just took us straight up to heaven. He could have said, now, time for you to go to sleep until it's till the uh, end of the age. But he didn't do that. He wants us to be the example of, of, a, of a great salvation, the salvation of that he is. He wants us to be the great example of salvation, of his goodness, of his mercy towards what he has created. He loves us so much. He wants to pour this agape love into your heart so that you fear nothing, so that you're bold and courageous. <laughs> he wants you to have his mind. He wants you to have his will. He wants you to be, be love, just like he is. But it's going to take taking our eyes off of some things, not leaning on our own understanding about anything, but in all of our ways acknowledging him He's going to direct your path. He knows how to direct us. He knows how to lead us. He knows how to guide us into the, what is truth. And truth isn't just when I get to heaven. Truth is right here on that situation, in that circumstance right now. If I feel weak, the Lord is strong and he gives me this, his strength. He doesn't just say, I'm strong. He gives you because you are his, his strength. This is what a daddy does. This is this is what the father does. You loved you you love the son and the son loves you and God the father he loves you because you love the son and he doesn't want to see you hurt and he doesn't want to see you grieved he doesn't he doesn't want to see anything evil happen to you. Though we walk through this troubled world, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, this world that we're living in we don't fear. We know that he is with us. Get your mind on things above. Get your mind on the fact that you are seated in Christ Jesus in the heavenly realm. And no weapon formed against you can prosper. Nobody can pluck your soul, your spirit, and your soul out of the hand of God. It is written. We, get your mind on this. We're going, we have an everlasting life with God forever, with the Father, with the Son, and, and in the Holy Spirit forever and ever and ever. And nothing can change that. Oh, how I pray that we would know the name of Jesus and walk out his name. Walk it out in our heart. Walk it out in our mind. 
we just stop leaning on what everything looks like, what everything sounds like. You know, God gave us a spirit, a spirit of wisdom, a spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. He gave us his spirit in our hearts. That love that God is pouring out into us by his spirit is revealing the truth, the truth of salvation in that situation, in that circumstance, your freedom, your liberty. He's not giving you a yoke of bondage. Not the old, the old yoke was us leaning on our own understanding. The old yoke was us in the flesh being led by the devil. It's easy to be led by the devil. You just get your eyes out there in the news. Get your eyes on you, Yahoo, and, uh, and, and Facebook, and all the social media sites, Snapchat, whatever else there is out there. You know, get your you get your mind on Google and just t ask Google everything you want to know. Get Alexa and ask Alexa everything you want to know. Whatever names there are out there, there's no name that knows more than the name of Jesus. He's in the Father and the Father's in him. And we, in John chapter 17, are supposed to be in the Son. And if we're in the Son, we're in the Father. We've become one with God. Therefore, he pours out his wisdom to us so that we can get out of the temptation, that evil temptation that is trying to find something in you to make you cave into it. James chapter 1. Read the whole thing. The Lord wants to take you out of that place of deception, but it comes from renewing your mind, from knowing that the wisdom of God it's right there for you. It's the beginning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. See, he's everything. He's everything. He is all, and I don't mean everything like the wall, the tree. No, I don't mean any of that. That he's our all and all. Everything consists because of who he is. Not because of who we are. That's pride in us. The greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, showing us the truth. Getting your mind on things above is knowing our Father. It's knowing your Father and trusting him with all your heart, with all your mind, will, and emotions, your soul, and with all of your strength. That's your phys I'm, I'm talking physical strength here. To take your mind and put it to the word. To take your, your mind and your, your legs and turn them away from evil. Walk away from the evil. Walk in the knowledge of the one who holds all things together. The majesty on high. The one who created the world and all that there is in it. Walk in the knowledge of the one who loves us so much. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, his only son, that whosoever would believe on him would not perish. Go into the lake of fire. Whosoever would believe on the Lord Jesus. God is, remember what's in the name. It's not just a man. It's not just a name. The name that means God is salvation. Your heart is so devoted to him. You will not see the flames. You will not see the fire. That's only for those who don't believe. They choose to walk in their own strength as if nothing else exists except for them and the people that they have around them. That's why we have to be the best examples right now of the true salvation of God so that people can see your light shine. And we, we are praying for all the world for God opened his heart, his, his arms up, I want to say his arms up to the whole entire world to come in. He's not, he doesn't lose, God wins. So let's be what we are, the salt of the earth, the light of the world, because the light of the world is, is in our heart. Let's be what we are in Christ, and let the Spirit of God abide in our hearts, 
leading us in the truth. Cast away your anger. Cast away the bitterness. Tell it no. I don't want you. My steps are ordered of the Lord. Get your mind on things above and understand wisdom has been given to you. It's been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. The spirit of God is there delivering to you all truth. I like the word truths. Put an S on the end. Because no matter what we're facing and no matter how many times we have to face it, God is with us. I can go on and on. He set a table before us in the presence of our enemies. In the presence of our enemy, he anoints our head with oil because we're eating from his table, from the Lord's table. Have a desire for God today. Have a desire to know Jesus, to to come after him, to let all of your mind, will, and emotions just go. I say, here I am. I give you every situation that could ever cross my mind today. I need your help today, Lord Jesus, so that I can walk like you do. <laughs> Hold my hand, Holy Spirit. Angels, help me. Because you've been given, it's been given to you to help me with my soul salvation. Help me with my salvation. Let the Lord guide you today. Let him just rejoice in him. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson. I get the word in your face international. Get the word in your face and love him. Because he loves you so, so, so much. <laughs> bye bye.